Your Highness, I was sent here by Your Majesty's steward. I have just been informed that I am to be assigned as Your Majesty's royal protector. It is a great honor, the culmination of years of training for just this moment. I cannot tell Your Highness how this feels. Oh, um, of course, if Your Ma- Forgive me. If you wish to be addressed directly by me, then it is done. As you command. Mm -hmm. I hope this question isn't above my station, but I don't suppose your majesty knows why I was chosen. No, of course. I am confident in my ability to protect you. It is what my life has been dedicated to but I have received the same training as everybody else in my cohort. Though I am certainly skilled, I do not know if it would be fair for me to say that I am more skilled than everybody else who followed the same training regimen. Oh, I wasn't aware that you specifically made this choice. And you see something in me? Is that all it is? I, I see, and what is that something, if I might ask? You cannot say. How mysterious. But, of course, that is your right. If you do not wish to tell me, it isn't my place to pry. By your leave, my liege. <coughs> um, forgive me, Your Highness. I... Um, well, I, I'm not quite sure what is supposed to happen next. I wasn't really informed of the protocol. <laughs> well, certainly, if your life were threatened, I would jump into action without hesitation, mark my words. Uh, precisely, Your Grace. That's what I was trained for. But, well, it's the parts in between the daring sword fights and intricate military reconnaissance that I find... A little perplexing. I'm not quite sure what to do with myself without a blade in my hand. You suggest we just... just talk? Well, I... I suppose we could discuss potential scenarios that could arise that may threaten your safety and how best to handle them. Additionally, I could assist in other areas such as organizing and overseeing security measures for events and public appearances, or gathering intelligence on potential threats. I suppose there is much more to protecting a monarch than just wielding a sword. Um, forgive me, Your Highness, I'm confused. If not that, then what would we talk about? I fear I'm not much of a conversationalist. Me? Why would you want to talk about me? I assure you there's not much to hear. Most of my life beyond childhood has been dedicated to military training. Well, of course, I want to know about you as well. But, well, Your Majesty, everybody already knows about you. You are the leader of this realm. Even the illiterate peasantry is familiar with you. And those that can read have almost certainly read at least one of the many biographies published about you. No, no, no. Forgive me. I don't mean to shrug you off. I only mean that, well, there isn't much I wonder about you. Unless there were a lot of things that the biographies missed out, which I suppose is quite possible. <laughs> there were? Well, well. Now I am wondering... Forgive me, that's probably rather inappropriate. <laughs> you know, I must say, Your Majesty, I'm surprised by your demeanor. Well, one doesn't usually expect to feel so at ease amongst royals. Not that I have any experience in meeting royals, but everything around you, the ceremonies, the building we're in now, even the clothes you're wearing, everything is so formal and rigid. Yet you, well, I'm simply surprised that I feel able to talk so freely with you. It's a relief, 
I must say. Yes. When I was informed that I was to be employed as your personal guard, I was thrilled, of course, but also, I must admit, a little nervous. <laughs> Indeed, not nervous about the potential danger. That I can handle. I was nervous about... Well, about meeting you, and having to spend the majority of my time in your company. No, you, you misunderstand me. Not because I thought I wouldn't enjoy it, you are beloved across the realm for your kind nature and your good humour. No, I was worried I would make a fool of myself. Oh, it wouldn't be hard. Trust me, I'm a fighter, not a scholar. Military strategy notwithstanding. But, uh, yes, I'm finding this much more easy going than expected. And I'm very glad of it. <laughs> You've got me there, Your Grace. I suppose if this is so easy, I should open up a little. Very well. I suppose... Well, as a boy, I did enjoy play fighting with my friends and siblings. I grew up on a farm outside of the city. We would play with rakes and forks, shovels, whatever we had to hand that could stand in for a proper sword. I became particularly good friends with one other child who seemed to appear out of nowhere one day. Yes, everybody else I knew as a boy I grew up with. People who were born in that little village didn't tend to leave, or choose to come from outside and stay there, so my childhood was filled with familiar faces. But one day, me and my brother and a couple of other of our little friends were playing on the green when another child joined in. None of us recognized them, but they blended right in immediately, playing along with us. Hmm. They had a little wooden sword, a proper one, carved skillfully into the correct shape. It was very realistic. I was envious. You didn't see that type of quality craftsmanship in the village. Well, I didn't realize as a child, but now I understand that that other kid must have come from a very different background to my own. They must have come from wealth, I mean. At the time, I didn't question it. But now, I wonder, what on earth were they doing in a little scrabble village like that? Anyway, we quickly became firm friends, me and them. Seemed to have a connection of some kind. I was still very close with the other boys and girls in the village, of course. I'd grown up with them, and me and my brother were thick as thieves. But... There was something else about this new kid. We forged a real connection. And then, I don't know, maybe a year later, my memories of all this are hazy. But about a year later, there was a bandit raid on the village. Luckily, nobody was hurt. Some of the hold guard swooped down on the raiders quick. Mighty quick. Much faster than we were used to them responding. And it had been a long time since the last raid. Even then, as a child, the swiftness of their response surprised me. They must have been close by. Then, when they had dealt with the raiders, the guard withdrew almost as quickly as they had arrived. In the rush, I lost track of where everybody was, but I'm sure I saw my friend being pulled up onto a horse by one of the guard and taken away. I hope that's what happened, and that they weren't taken by raiders. I've never seen them since. Mm. And since that day, joining the guard seemed like the best possible way to find out about what happened to my best friend. Alas, nobody seems to know anything. Occasionally, uh, I don't know, it seemed as though people were deliberately keeping something from me. Most people seem genuinely not to know anything, but just every now and then, if I ask the right person... What can I do? Insist they spill their secrets? They're theirs to keep. Having dwelt on it since, it is odd, I think, that we never met that child's parents or anything like that. I know the parents of all the other kids in the village, but not theirs. Well, it plagues me, in truth, your majesty, that I may never know what became of them. Even now, which is foolish, 
They were a childhood friend, and I am a grown man. I cannot tell you why it plays on my mind so. But, but how have you got me spilling my guts like this? We've known each other properly for all of, what, ten minutes? Less than that? <laughs> there truly is something about you, your majesty. I wish I could put... I wish I could put my finger on it. It's... It's you, isn't it? It was you. In the village. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's you. I'm sure of it. I, I recognize your smile and that sparkle in your eye. Do you remember? Do you remember me? Is it, is it you? <sighs> I can't believe it. I, I can't believe it. After all these years of training as a guard, slowly losing hope that I would ever see my friend again, yet you were the monarch of the realm the whole time. How did I not recognize you before now? I may have only seen you from afar at a few public appearances, but still. Huh. I think I remember. They, they colored your hair, didn't they, and made it look messy. And in tatty peasant's clothes, with the dirty face of a kid who spends their time playing on a farm. I suppose it's no surprise that I didn't recognize you from far away. You look nothing like you did then. And yet, everything like it, now that I can see your smile and your eyes. Things that you don't see properly from a distance. Tell me, Your Grace, did you only just recognize me? Or have you known for longer than I? <laughs> of course. Uh, wait, so, is this why... Is this why I was chosen as your protector by you? Was this your doing, all of this? Huh. I suppose I need to get used to you being one step ahead of me, then. I have to say, this is a lot to take in. Not what I expected on my first day. Well, no. I thought it would be a lot of awkward sitting around. Having to deal with a revelation like this is the last thing I reckoned on. Yes, I, I thought the day would be physically taxing, not emotionally. Why did this happen, by the way? Why were you placed in that village as a child? Oh. Well, I suppose if it was to get more of an idea of how the common folk live their lives, it worked. Uh, <laughs> you certainly are the, the fairest ruler we've had for quite a while, as I understand, anyway. Ah, well, I suppose this is going to make the job of being your protector all the more important. Now, not only am I protecting the sovereign of our realm, I'm protecting my friend. At least, I hope, your majesty, I may consider you a friend. I suppose it might seem a little strange. We did only know each other for a year or less during childhood, but I always felt a connection to you and longed to see you again. I am glad you feel the same way. One thing, Your Highness. I am concerned that if our bond were to be discovered, it could compromise my ability to protect you. I can imagine ways enemies of the Crown may use it against you or us. Is it agreeable to you that we keep this between the two of us? Ah. <sighs> That is a relief. It will be hard to keep something a secret, that which brings me so much joy, but a relief nonetheless. In that case, I remain your protector, as long as I am able to serve. Shall we tour the grounds together? I feel it would be prescient for me to identify any potential weak points in the castle's defences. <laughs> no, not to say that the royal architect would make such mistakes, or that they are in some way treacherous, but for safety's sake, it would be wise to become familiar with every inch of the grounds. Plus, well, 
it would be nice to take a stroll with an old friend. What do you say? Excellent. Let's be off.